T is a tour of the lifts at a former Hotel Maritime Reichshof. A hotel that is currently closed as Maritime doesn't run it anymore and someone else took it over and renovates it. This hotel has got a very special lift in it. If you know the elevator of the year 2014, then you might have an idea. And now to the first lifts, which is a set of two Porsche Otis 2000 VF lifts. These lifts are surprisingly old for Otis 2000 as they have been built in 1994 and they already had a floor indicator displaying an animated door. There used to be some really old lifts here before, but the Otis lifts replaced them. And now to the next lift, which is a really nice old house hand lift, almost complete and original. The folding in a door is as old as the entire lift is, however, the sliding in a door on the other side has been added on later. And that is the only thing changed on this lift. Sadly, this lift gets demolished during the hotel renovation. When the hotel has been originally built, there was no lift running in the middle of the staircase and the new owners want to restore the historic lobby and staircase arrangement, so the house hand lift has to go. And now to the hotel service lift. Do you think it was originally built when the hotel has been built? Guess not. I wonder if they also want to remove it then. Ah, I don't think so as it would be very impractical to do so. Then the big hotel has no service lift at all. I'm sure they will keep it. It is a nice Otis with Series 1 fixtures.
And now to what is called the auto silo, and it is nothing more and nothing less than Diesel Ducey's Wonkavator version 2.0. This amazing installation automatically parks your car. You will drop it off at the old wooden turntable. Then a strange vehicle comes out of the lift and grabs the car's wheels, then driving back into the lift. The lift can now move up and down, side to side, and also both at the same time to park your car. Unlike diesel juices monkeys, this one here runs in a building so you can't see it from outside. There is a shaft door at the drop point. This is the only door the lift has. The controls have been modernized and it seems that the lift now uses variable frequency generators on both motors. Furthermore, the lift attendant doesn't any longer need to be in the lift cab since they modernized it. The lift runs automatic and everything the attendant needs to do is to tell the system which space the car must be parked at. However, the controls in the cab still exist and this made a right and left it awesome. Thank you. 